What's up guys, Desert B here and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. So last episode we did spring and summer of uh, Click Clock Woods and we're gonna start with fall. So uh, fall, fall's really cool. It's, um, ow. I don't know, it's just very like cozy, but in like a, there's a cold breeze sort of a way. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Oh, and our bird, Eerie Bear. Get Eerie more caterpillars. I need 10 this time. Our bird is growing up. And now the, uh, the little Robin Hood guys, they've got clothes on again. In the summer, they were um, like shirtless. So look at all these piles of leaves. I mean, we have to get a good look at this area, this, this whole world, now that, um, now that it's fall. I mean, look at all these beautiful gold and orange and red leaves. Uh, here's the caterpillar over here. I don't remember which season has the most, um, notes in it. It might be fall, I'm not sure. So we're already stocked up on those, let's not even bother. Um, what else though? Let's see, so the lake, is the lake full again? Yeah, the lake is full again. So, I don't know, I guess let's go, let's go this way. There's so many, like, paths you could take. And I'm wondering, can we get in to see the, um... Oh, you know what? Hmm. I... I had to restart my Xbox, and now that guy's... I thought I broke the boulder in front of his, um, home in summer, in the last episode, but maybe because I had to restart? So, let me go back into summer, maybe? So we can redo the boulder and then come back. I don't, I don't, I'm trying to think. I have like a, a pretty solid memory of having to do that in the winter, but I don't know. Let's go see what happens. I know I broke it in the, in the summer. Back to summer. I just love how the music even makes it feel like everything is just, it's slow. It's hot. It's a slow summer day. I wonder if this caterpillar counts as our count. It does. <laughs> okay, so let's break the boulder. So, what strength come inside? So you actually, you can't get up there. If you remember from last episode, the, um, the walkway is too steep. So, all right, let's head back into fall and let's see what it looks like. I swear, like, I know you have to go in the water in the winter because the water's freezing and it's really hard not to um, drown in there. But, but now I'm like, well, if I can get into the, if I can get into the, the beaver's home in the fall. Why was I going in the winter? I have no idea. I guess we'll see when we get there. Because we'll be doing fall and winter today. And finishing this, this world up, sadly. Let's take a dive down and see. <laughs> Even the music changes underwater a little bit. Yeah, you can make it up here. So interesting. I don't know. I guess we'll see when we get to winter what the deal is. Oh, you know, he may have notes and stuff in here in the winter. You're here at last. I've been waiting months to give you this. Why, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if that's maybe what it is. Maybe he's got a honeycomb piece or notes or something that you have to come in here for. And, uh... Did we already get our final stop and swap? You know, I realized that there's actually a, a menu for the stop and swaps. So I think I'm missing the last one, which is in this world. So um, we'll find that. I, I think I know where it is. I thought I got it last time, but maybe not. Actually, now that I'm, let me look at the totals. So 39 notes, 6 out of 10 jiggies, and we haven't found any of the honeycomb pieces yet. Huh? Oh, Goby's still here! Poor Goby. 
Give me those notes. Where are they? Okay. What? Oh, I missed one. I'm like wasting my feathers. All right. Let's go abuse Gobi one more time. Poor guy. Is he going to talk to me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. But hey, look at that. He grew a whole flower. That's Jiggy number seven. Right. That's it. I'm off to the lava world. You'll never find me there. <laughs> I don't know if you actually do find him in the lava world in Banjo Tooie or not. Can I climb this? You can't climb the stem. I'm thinking maybe you got to go from... Maybe we'll drop down from above. I think the beehive is right above this. So... I love that they've also color-coordinated the Jinjos. The yellow one was hidden in the yellow grass in the summer. The orange one or the gold one was hidden in the fall leaves in the fall. Love it. Okay, um... I want to look around at whatever else we can see before we start to make the ascent. Let me get the notes here. Yeah, I think fall maybe does have the most notes because we're running into a ton of them. And, uh, let's go see what Mumbo has to say. Oh! Dang it. Meant to jump over that. Mumbo, mumbo. Still no magic. Mumbo busy, sweep many leaves. No magic today. Well, he's got some notes for me. Yeah, unfortunately, he only does the bee transformation in the spring. Boo. All right, well. We're only at 39 notes. I kind of can't believe that. It feels like we have a ton to go. Nothing up there. Okay. I think we can probably start the ascent. So where to start though? And get me out of these boots. We have to be on the lookout for notes on like every pile of leaves too. Did I check these already? I think I did. Yeah, I got that one. Okay, let's go back to the tree. The change in music too now. Now the, uh, the background animal sounds aren't... Well, those are birds. But there's also crickets or frogs. I can't really tell. And those I don't think were in the previous season. So this guy's got notes. Really wish I had the B. Down to 12 feathers. Let's go around. Whoa, where are you going, Banjo? Wait, now it says I have 60 notes? I've already gathered, I've already gathered that many? Yeah, 61. Weird! It doesn't feel like I've gathered hardly any. I already got that guy. Did we go this way? It looks like it. Okay. Then. Oh! <laughs> that was giving me some trouble there. Okay, ah! <laughs> uh, let me wait. There we go. Oh, whoops. I keep falling off of these. Um, I'm just trying to be thorough before we start to head up. I think they need to go back this way. I just saw... What did I just see a minute ago? I don't know. I thought I saw notes or something that I had missed. Okay, well, let's start going up, wherever that is. There's the leaf trail. Here's here's this. We can go up this way. And birds. 
And I guess you could still go up the leaves here, but... Uh, I don't think I need to, because we already got the um, jiggy that was up there. I guess we'll see on the way up if um, there's any notes there. Clap trap. What else do we have over here? Gold feathers. I do kind of want those. Since they're hiding a bunch of um, notes in the clap traps. I thought I... Oh, yeah, there it is. I was going to say, I thought I heard a... Um, oh, I just missed. No. Oh, right into the brambles. Gosh. Uh, all right. I don't remember how many times I fell in the previous episode. All the fall leaves even just falling in the air. It's so cozy. Especially if fall's your favorite season, like it is mine. Yeah. I don't know, though. It's a hard choice whether um, I prefer fall or spring because... I think that spring is just really, um, I don't know, it's really happy and peppy. And this one's really cozy. I think I like them both equally. Um, did I get that caterpillar? I think I fell. Excuse me. Eight. So we only need two more. And then our boy Eerie's gonna be... He's growing so fast. He doesn't, he doesn't become fully grown just yet, though. One more season. Oh, here's our flower. And maybe we should go in and see the Zubbas? Anything in here? Notes. Bzz, nothing in here for you now, Bear. We've all moved out. I guess they were sick of, um... Sick of guarding the jiggy, and then they all left. Oh, maybe because winter's coming? I don't know. Do bees migrate? I actually don't know. Okay, so here, this is a little bit tricky. So let's try to drop... Oh my gosh. Well, I panicked, and I guess now we're going. Well, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Seven! And then, of course, we have to do the ascent again. <laughs> I guess that is one thing about this world. You do have to climb this tree about a thousand times. But I don't mind. It's so... It's just so unique. And, um... What's that word that means, like... It has character. It's, um... Oh, I don't know. Why can't- why do I do this? It's like I can't think of words sometimes like that. Charm. It's got lots of charm. That's the word I'm thinking. Now what do we have here? Is this the cabin? So let's get a look at the progress on whoever's building this cabin. Maybe it's the uh, squirrel. We've got another caterpillar down there, but we do only need 10. So the whole thing is completely done now. Remember the floor was missing before? So it's all done. Just needs, uh, just needs a door, really. So let me see if there's any notes hidden back here. Absolutely nothing. Come on. I wonder if there's anything on the roof, but I'm a little scared. That'd be a... Uh... I don't see anything. That'd be a tough jump, I think. Oh, I did have to restart my Xbox. I bet my life count has changed now. Let me check. Ugh, it did. Now I'm back to only four lives. You know, before the um, Gruntilda boss fight, I think I might go stock up on some lives because... Um... Surprisingly, the Gruntilda boss fight's actually pretty difficult. Hopefully I don't die that many times, but you never know. Nabnut, what are you doing out here? Oh, he's sad. Hi there, bear buddy. I need six more acorns before winter comes. Have you seen any? No. 
Wasn't the stop and swap in his house? No. Weird, I, I swear I thought we got it last episode. Well, there's one of his acorns. And he's got a worm in here. Do squirrels eat worms? Oh, he had a really cool rug. Hold on. Oh, uh, never mind. I thought that it was green with like, um, like a viney, leafy pattern on it. Never mind. That's way less cool than I thought it was. It was way cooler in my head. Okay, let's go grab the rest of his acorns. Now, why in the world do they do this to us? I don't know. But I think the trick is this. Um, first let's grab this one. And what I've tried to do in the past is try to jump across from, like, that side to that side and grab the acorn while I'm going, but that's really, I think, the harder way to do it. I think this. And then you fall straight down. Ooh, I barely make it. <laughs> that was four already. Does the window go anywhere else? Nope. Oh, here. We have a whole bridge. This wasn't built before. Oh, this? Could this be the stop and swap? I swear it's up here somewhere. No, I mean, the music would play if it were. But I think there's a... thing down here. That's five. Where's the sixth? Hmm. It could be further up the tree, but I thought they were all kind of right here all together. Oh, I see it. Banjo keeps trying to hand him the acorns. Not ready, Banjo. Okay, so this one, this is steep. That's all six. Nab nut. <laughs> One at a time. Yippee! That's all the acorns I need. Here, take this. I'll see you in spring. <laughs> wow, he's got a long tail. All right, that was chicken number eight. So we're going to get one from Eerie. I know that much. I'm going to die. No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> what the heck? Get it, Kazooie! Oh, gosh. What's wrong with me? Jeez, dude. All right. Timing! Timing is key. Good grief. Oh, here's the winter door. Is this eerie? Oh, it is! Like, I'm so torn. On one hand, I love, you know, giving him his worms and everything. But on the other hand, I don't want to because I don't want him to grow up and leave. But, must be done. Man, he's so big now, he doesn't even fit in the uh, camera. Guess we have to give these all to him one at a time, too. <laughs> Eerie. I love that name. Those humongous talons. But his wings are disproportionately tiny. Thank you, bear. Eerie soon be big bird. Must have sleep first. <laughs> Does anybody watch those eagles on this? There's like a, a YouTube channel that has a live feed of this eagle family. I think the eagle's names are Jackie and Shadow. For a while there, it's been like a few months back, but for a while I was like checking in on them every day to see, you know, kind of like what they were up to. <laughs> so, I don't know, is that all the jiggies in fall? Is that all the nose in fall? I'm not really sure. Let's see if there's any one-ups. Oh. Seemed like last... Oh, there's one up there. That looks hard to get, though. On second thought, let's go. 
Could I have missed anything? I don't know. I felt like we were pretty thorough. Let's just take a... Let's take a little scenic drive back down. See if we missed anything. And then head to winter. I mean, how can you just not get immediately happy when you hear this music? I think it's so cheerful. So cheery. I'm not seeing any notes. I think we can go. We talk to the beaver guy. The last Jinjo, because he's blue. I think he's blue. Yeah, the blue one is going to be probably in the winter because snow and cold. Ah, yeah, let's go and let's see. Um, let's see at the end if we're short anything. I'm trying to think even what the last... Well, we're going to get a Jiggy from Eerie, but where's the other, the last Jiggy? I don't know. And now everything is snowy. Still have these guys. And sadly, we have these guys. These guys are the literal worst enemy in the entire game. Mumbo's hut looks frozen. And I don't think the brambles hurt now. Yeah. Okay, let's go see Mumbo real quick. Is there anything on his hut? Oh, that's the Jinjo. Mumbo's hut kind of has a nice view as well. Oh, we got a new gamer pick. Fair win gamer pick to spruce up gamer profile. Yeah, I always liked the, the view from Mumbo's hut here. Look, I mean, just look at the trees. So cool. A lot of those dudes, though. Okay, let's go see if Mumbo's home. He doesn't have anything for us, but... Oh, he's gone. <laughs> uh, Mumbo's on vacation, you hairy fool. <laughs> Come back in the spring. If all this is gold feathers, I don't want them. We're all full on those. We should probably... We should probably just take these guys out now. Because they're just so dang annoying. Um, there's a lot of them, too. Oh, look at our tree is dead. Or, I mean, our flower. I guess that's winter for you. Ooh. Almost missed. You do kind of get a really nice, um, like a view of the world. Oops. Wrong button. When you get to fly. That's why having the bee is really nice, because you get to... Oh, do you hear Eerie? He's a big bird. Sounds like a real eagle, I guess. Oh. oh. We're going to fall to our deaths. Oh, look at Eerie in the background. Okay, please. Please. Oh, no. Oh, we got him. Wow. Here's one. Oh, here's a grunty switch. Is that all of them? I want to get a good look at Eerie before he flies away. I wish he stayed. It makes me so sad that he leaves. I'm looking for more of those dudes. Oh, there he is! Look at him! I don't want to get too close because I don't want to trigger anything. Oh, here's another. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the sound effects. <laughs> Poor Banjo. Where is the flight pad? There's a flight pad, but... How to reach? Oh, and the lake is frozen, too. Maybe if I go over here... There we go. And that snowman was back here. Well, there's a one up. It looks like it's down under the water. I just can't really remember why in the world I would have been going in that freezing water if I didn't have to. It makes no sense. Darn it. Oh! 
Banjo! Or Kazooie. I don't really know who's steering. One of you. Line it up. Nope, no, 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 no. Ah, darn it. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure about the shot. What the heck? Get me away from this thing. We're gonna have to go on a hunt for, um, health. Okay, up one more. And now let's dive bomb him. Whew. I'll take that, please. Yeah, let me go, um... Let's break this thing apart and get the health from it. Oh, well, that was... What? Are you kidding me? That was a complete and absolute waste. Oh, lots of Ikambokums. Should we just... Gold feather him? I guess. Oops, oops, oops. Wrong button. Oh, our flower. Grown from a Kazooie egg. So, I guess I am gonna go under here because it's possible that... There's gonna be something in the beaver's home. Yeah, there's no way we're going after that. That is so far. And watch, I think your I think your lifeline drains about as fast as it does in the oil water in Rusty Bucket Bay because the water's so cold. So here we go. Let's go for a dive. Yes, that's right. Swim under there. Icy water takes double air. <laughs> Well, we just have to make it to the beaver's home. <laughs> oh, go, Kazooie! Oh, jeez. Yeah, see, that is so close. Core. I don't usually get visitors in winter. And there's our honeycomb piece. So we had to do it. It had to be done. I wonder where the last one is. Well, um... I still don't know where the stop and swap is. Here we go. The treacherous swim back. Flap those wings, Kazooie. I don't know if pressing the button makes you swim faster or holding the button. It feels like pressing. Go, 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 go. And we made it. That was a bit stressful. All right, let's start the ascent. Um, let's go this way. No birds this time. That's kind of nice about the winter. And no bees. Also no leaves to climb on. So, uh, uh, whoa, 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 jeez. Okay, maybe I better use Kazooie always, because the ground is slick. What was over there? A gold feather? Yikes. Let's go this way. Grab the notes. I mean, I'll probably be able to restock on these, I guess, but it is nice to get them. Okay, up we go. I think you can see Eerie pretty well from the beehive. Let me go over here. Oh, also the beehive is like all caved in now. Oh, and there's an Ecom Boko. How do I get out of here though? Can we see Eerie? Oh, I guess not. Where is his nest at? Uh, there's the cabin. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, I love him. So majestic. <laughs> I 
I think they did such a good job with the music in this game. And this will be the cabin. And you know what? I guess let's grab the gold feather since it's right here. Uh, the cabin is actually all boarded up now. Like, literally just boarded up. It's not like it has a door or windows or anything anymore. They just were like... Boarded up for winter, I guess? I don't know. Is that a thing? Maybe for, like, hunting cabins they do that? I don't, I don't really know. And drop and drop. Oh, right. We've got to get that grunty switch. Do you think I should try for it now? He, I think we can reach. Okay, so that's out where the bull is. Huh, no way back up. So <laughs> I guess we're going to have to start from the beginning again. And climb, climb, climb. Where, where are we at on our notes? 92 notes. And I'm, I'm not seeing the last jiggy, honestly. I don't know if there's a... I, I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's another jiggy in the winter. Otherwise... I mean, if there's, there's only the one from Eerie, that's only one jiggy for this whole season. That doesn't seem quite right. Maybe there's something else further up that I've just forgotten about. Let's get Kazooie out. This thing is so slick. They've got this bridge, like, all built out. There's some notes and a one-up. And what's up here? A flight pad. Oh, um... There's a window up there. I don't know if that was there before. I swear the stop and swap is in one of these windows, guys. Let me try in here. I don't think there's anything in here in winter, but let's look. Yeah, just eggs. But that's gonna be a... I guess you'd have to hit that window, that one, the high one up there, like with, uh... While you're in flight. Can't break the door down. I, this is kind of reminded me a little bit of a hobbit hole. Maybe it's the round door. Oh, it's in here! Oh, look, he got a girlfriend! Mmm, acorns. <laughs> That's our final one! Hey, Banjo, we found all the stop and swap items! Time to ditch the checklist and stash them away for use in... Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. So they talk about Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts a lot, and they don't mention um, Banjo-Kazooie... Banjo-Tooie at all, but um, you do get something, maybe more than one thing even, I'm not sure, f in Banjo-Tooie for collecting all of these two. Okay, so this is the window. Well, it's right in front of me, I guess. Okay, that actually wasn't that that bad. Now, how do I make it in the window? That's going to be another s another story. Let's see. Maybe I go on top. I don't know. Let me try this. <laughs> what in the world? How are you supposed to do this? Nope. Oh. Hmm. How are you supposed to do this? I think our last honeycomb piece is in here. Maybe I should just... <laughs> That's one way to do it. 
Now, where are we? Oh, this must be Nabnut's like storage room. <laughs> Look at all these acorns. At least I assume that's what these are. Hmm. Oh, see, there it is. How do I? Show me the honey. What's this? Look at this. It's like a switch. What? What is this? Or maybe it's a light? Hmm, I don't know if... Doesn't seem like you can do anything to it, but it looks like a switch, doesn't it? Um... Weird. I have no idea. But, I mean, we got the honeycomb piece. And we got the stop and swap item. So, I, I mean, we've got it all. I'm still not sure where the last Jiggy is. Okay, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get a good look at um, Eerie from here. I still think his wings are small. <laughs> that big old head. Oh, thank goodness, no birds. All right, guys. Are we prepared to say goodbye to Eerie? I don't know whether to have the camera all out or like this. I think it'll give us a good view either way. Eerie, mighty eagle at last. Watch me as I fly into the sky. <laughs> Majestic bird. He looks very heavy. <laughs> I have reward for bear friend. Here it comes. <laughs> oh! Wait. Where did I get the ninth one? I don't remember that at all. Well, that was it! And we just need a few more notes and then we're done with Click Clock Wood. And sadly, even if you go back to the other seasons now, Eerie's still gone. Which is why when I was a kid, when I used to replay this game, I wouldn't ever actually speak to Eerie. I would just leave him so I could hear his squawks and see him from other parts of the world. My favorite world. What do you guys think? What's your favorite so far? I mean, in the game, that was all of them. This is world number nine of nine. Don't see anything in here. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do is get that grunty switch. Ooh, there's really not an easy way for me to get down. There's no water I can fall into down there. Let me try to get down maybe here. And then here. And now let's go find the exit. We need to go back to spring and get the um, B transformation one more time. Then we can get that last Gruntilda's Lair Jiggy. And we'll get to go into spring once more, which is nice. So this episode, we actually saw all four seasons because we did have to go into summer for a second there too. All right, so we went through all of them. Now here's the happy, cheery spring music and the rain. Yeah, this one, this is definitely, it's tied equally for me between fall and spring. I love them both. And there's our guy. It's kind of weird because, see, his boulder comes back, but Eerie doesn't come back. There's the flower. Let's see what it looks like. And it's actually all the way bloomed. It seems a little inconsistent. Why Why does the flower stay all the way bloomed when that didn't happen until the fall? Why is the boulder back, but Eerie's not back? I don't know, I don't get it. Now I'm like, I'm gonna fly up there and check on Eerie. I'm positive, because I remember 
when I was a kid, the reason that I didn't do Eerie is because I wanted him to stay. The bee! My favorite. The fat little bee. All right, let's just go check on Eerie. Eerie? Yeah, see, he's gone. Empty nest. All right, where's the front door? I wish there was a way to... I don't know. Land easier. I'm pretty sure you can't just... Yeah, I tried this last time. I was trying to press any and all buttons. It seems like there should be a... <laughs> seems like there should be a button for, um, like a fast descent or something. Or like you could press a button and you'll just stop flying and drop. Okay. So let's check the totals. Oh, we missed four notes, guys. Oh no! Oh no. Shoot, where could those be? Um, hmm. And look, we were in here for an hour and 21 minutes. That's like the most ever, I think. Here's all of our stop and swap items. Rusty Bucket Bay, 49 minutes. Mo Mad Monster Mansion, 40. 35 for Gobi's Valley. 45 for Freeze Easy Peak. 48, Bubble Gloop Swamp. 29 for Clinker's Cavern. 39, Treasure Trove Cove. 20, Gruntilda's Lair. Almost two hours. And then there's Spiral Mountain. Game total. Okay. Well, um, I don't think the last four notes are in the spring. Let's go see. Um... Well, hmm, I'm debating. Do I go get the... Because my magic's going to run out, and then I'm going to have to go get the magic again. And in the Xbox version, you don't have to worry about losing your notes. So let's just go out here and get the... Um, the, to the Jiggy. Last Jiggy of the game. Bam, bam, ba bam, bam, bam. That makes 10 out of 10 for uh, Grunty's Lair. Take that. Okay, so I feel like I was pretty thorough with the notes in spring, especially with the bee, because you can like fly around and look for them. So let's start with summer. Such a bummer that you can't be a bee in the summer. Like, why? Bum, 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 bum. It feels like... I don't know. It feels like the notes are going to be, like, in a... In a hut. Or, like, in... Like, Nabnut's room. Or... I don't know. I guess it's possible I missed him in fall, too. I don't really know. Well, this is a dead end. Nothing there. I don't know. Let me look around a bit, and um, I guess I'll meet you guys when I find him. Okay, found him. How in the world did I miss these? I feel like we were over here messing around like forever. Trying to get in that window and then somehow I didn't get these? <laughs> well, anyways, I'm glad all four of them are together. Music Maestro. Maestro. All right, that's 100 percent the, uh, the world and not quite the game yet. We have, um, 
You know, next episode, there's actually uh, this really fun little mini game um, that I want to try out. So we may spend next episode doing that and then do the final uh, Gruntilda fight in um, uh, the episode after next. So that's everything now in Click Clock Woods. Everything is 100 percented. So that feels really um, satisfying. It's always satisfying to, I don't know, in like collect-a-thon type games like this, it's always satisfying to me to, to get all the things. But, still a couple things that we can do. Um, uh, all right, well, I guess that's goodbye to my favorite world in the whole game. Hope you guys enjoyed Click Clock Woods. Um, yeah, I'm gonna listen to this soundtrack. So like calming and relaxing. Okay guys, well next episode we have a mini game in store that's pretty fun, gives you some pretty silly rewards. And then after that, it's um, onto the Gruntilda boss fight. We're finally gonna save 2D. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Hey. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like or subscribe if you're new here for more gameplay videos just like this one. If you'd like to see your name at the end of every video, please consider joining channel memberships right here on YouTube. I'm live on YouTube every Saturday, so stop by sometime and say hi. Can't wait to see you there.